Happy, happy Friday! Hope you guys are doing great. I am getting ready to leave for work today, but since I have like 40 minutes left and um, need to eat. I don't like to eat in the morning, but I need to eat. You cannot skip meals and expect your body to have the energy to have the metabolism needed to burn the fat. So you cannot skip your meal. So make sure you have plenty of fluid, plenty of water, carbs, and healthy proteins um, so that your body can uh, have the energy to metabolize, to burn the fat. So anyways, that's not a part of what I was going to share, but it's an obvious area of my passion. So um, yesterday, uh, after I left work, I went to um, my new brokerage office. Uh, off of the beach there at hammock ocean and i'm so so excited i'm so thankful and so grateful this is a great team awesome broker awesome beautiful team physically um just beautiful heart beautiful faces and beautiful people beautiful souls um and so yesterday when i saw and met with um our broker and I hadn't seen him since uh, like April 3rd when we first met to interview one another. And I was like, oh, wow, did you lose weight? Like he looked great. He looked fit. And um, and I, and he's like, yeah, I've been working out. And, um, and he's like, you know, when he first interviewed me um, a couple months ago, he was like, I am looking to uh, for you know younger agents that are and I'm like uh, I'm 50 I'm not young and he was like what he's like you're lying to me I don't believe you uh, I need to see your birth certificate you it's not true it's not possible he's like I'm like yes it is I said um I have a son that's 20 year old <laughs> so anyways and I told him uh, in our interview because he wanted to know like what's the deal what's the secret why how can you look that young you know he, he, he didn't believe me he was just beyond shocked I was like drink lots of water pursue peace <laughs> live in peace love God love people pursue peace drink lots of water so anyways you told me yesterday ever since i met you um i've been drinking a lot of water and i've been going back back to the gym to work out i'm trying to you know he, he's pursuing a goal so i'm not gonna tell his business but anyways um i thought that was uh awesome and i'm just so excited to be a part of this uh team uh so i'll be training um part-time while i work my full-time job uh, i'll be training part-time while taking courses online um, on weekends uh, to finish my post-licensing real estate courses, which is taking forever because I just don't want to do it after work. I'm tired. My mind is tired after work. So I only do it Saturday morning when my mind is fresh and there's nothing else um, usually, nothing else going on. But I wanted to encourage you guys, you know, you know, just infect your world everywhere you go with uh, love, with positivity, amen, because um, people need encouragement. You know, I have everywhere I go, there's people from all walks of life. I have so many testimony, great, amazing testimony to tell you guys, but I won't do it on this video. Life-changing transformation types of testimony that God has just brought, you know, in my path the last 24 hours so 48 hours and um, looking back at my life since I was two years old you know my mom my auntie told me many times that since I was like two years old a toddler walking around our Cambodian village where I was born you know I would put on my mom's lipstick and then I would roll it up in my pants you know my shorts I didn't have any shirt on because it's hot in Cambodia and I was two years old. So and I would waddle around the village and call out, come, come, let us beautify ourselves. Let us beautify ourselves. And you know what? Looking back, it's just like, man, that is so 
who God has called me to be. It doesn't matter what age I am, you know, at 15, I was, I remember having a conversation with myself. I'm like, I want to be beautiful inside, beautiful inside and outside, not just the outside, just inside. I don't know what possessed me to want that at age 15, but I had that conversation with myself and that's what I wanted. Now I know that it's because God has placed that within my heart, my desire, because it's a part of my calling. So now I am in a field um, through my own brokenness, you know, after divorce and separation going on um, 50, I was 48 and I was like, there's nothing more important to me than my health, my overall health, my emotions, my thoughts, my mind, physical, spiritual, everything, my entire being, I wanted to be healthy. And I wanted to help others be healthy so that they can love themselves before they try to love other people, you know, and it's a part of the commandment of God. He says, love your God with all of your heart, mind, body, strength, and soul, and love others as you love yourself. Most of us, especially women, um, wives, mothers, we forget to love ourselves. We somehow put everything else, everybody first, and then we just take whatever beatings come emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually, financially, whatever, spiritually, whatever it is. Abuses comes in all forms. And only um, the emotional, mental, psychological, spiritual ones are harder to discern than the physical one. Because the physical abuse you can see. Sexual abuse you can see. Well, sometimes. Anyways, um, but God wants us healthy. God wants his kids healthy. He wants you healthy. He wants our soul, our mind, our will, our emotion, our spirit, our body to be healthy. Amen? Because we're made in his image and there is nothing imperfect and defective, unhealthy, unholy, imperfect about our God. And we're made in his image, in his likeness to be like him. He wants us healthy and he sent his son Jesus to shed his blood on the cross to redeem us so that we would have health. We would have wholeness in our being, our, our entire being, that we would have the abundant life of joy, peace, you know, love, thanksgiving, gratitude, gentleness, you know, compassion, that we would have lived the abundant kingdom life and we would have eternal life through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has done everything for us to give us the life that we deserve a life of liberty, peace, joy, victory, and love. Amen. Now I'm getting off. Let me get back to my devotion. I want to encourage you guys with this and I need to run off to work. This is for you who have been faithful in the little things that God has placed in you, the talents, the gifts and talents, and you've been using it to build people, to love people, to give, to serve God in his house and in the fields, the fields, is the world. You love others through whatever gifts and means that God has blessed you with. This word is for you. Here it is. The Storehouse of My Blessings, March 31st, 2016, by Dr. Jun Shelton Reich. And this word coincide with my spirit and I receive it. I pray you receive it too. For without faith, it is impossible to please God and let him who believes in God believes that he is who he says he is and that he's a good God and he desires to bless us. Amen. He's not trying to steal, rob, take anything away from us. He wants to bless us like all good fathers and mothers do. Amen. I have opened the storehouse of my blessings for you and will pour them out to you in excess of your need or ability to contain, says the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let it rain, Lord. I will enrich you. I will beautify you as I deck you out in me. Can you hear 
the sound of abundance of rain. You have to hear it, see it through your spirit, through your spirit, man, through your heart, your heart of faith. Amen. Can you feel the winds of my spirit pressing against your face? I am moving in your behalf. I am causing, I am affecting, I am stirring things up, and I am preparing you for what I have for you. Glory to God, says the Lord. About a year plus ago, in the midst of my praise and worship, just with a heart full of praise and gratitude to God for giving me that oceanfront condo and giving me the life that I was living uh, while I was healing from my brokenness uh, through the separation and divorce. And I was just praising God. I was just, thank you, Father. You're so good to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the voice of the Lord spoke to me. Inside my spirit, I heard him. He said, you think this is good? You think this is awesome? It's like, you haven't seen nothing yet, child. You haven't seen anything yet. So I believe with all my heart. You can mock, laugh at me, whatever. Doesn't matter. Because what God has spoken, what God has shared, shown, the covenants of God are made known to those who fear him. Psalm 25, 14. God reveals his covenant. God reveals his mysteries, his plans, his purposes, not all of it, a glimpse here, a bit there, as we seek him, as we bask in gratitude, thanksgiving, giving him honor, glory, and praise for who he is, for his goodness, mercy, and favor upon our lives. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Do not gaze at the little cloud that is distant and faint, but hear the sound, speak to your ears, that they may hear. Speak to, oh, my computer, I hate it. Okay, all right. Speak to your eyes that they may see. Eyes open up. Father, please open up our eyes to see your visions for us, to see your purpose and plans for us. Thank you, Lord. Speak to your heart that it may be enlarged to embrace what I have for you. For as you have been faithful in the small, be faithful in the small things, you will have the abundance. I will enlarge you, fill you, thrill you, and pour into you my spirit of grace. Hallelujah. Father, please pour your spirit of grace upon each and every one of us, God. I will expand your vision and give you mine. I want God's visions and not my own little puny visions. Amen. Yes, Lord, think and speak abundance and know that there will not be room enough to contain the magnitude of my blessings that I am pouring out to you, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. So this word is for you. If you put your hope and trust in the Lord, our God, and if you've been faithful in the little things, he's not asking for perfection. Amen. And Every day is a new day where his mercy and grace is new every morning. So all we have to do is come back to him, amen, and pick up where we know God has instructed us and has already shown us what we are supposed to be doing. And he tells us in his words, love God, the Lord, with all your heart, mind, body, strength, and soul, and love others as you love yourself. I'm getting are ready to go to work. I'm going to go there a little bit extra early um, because my coworker wants me to do her makeup for her. She's a beautiful woman, but she cannot see that about herself due to abuses. So um, I am pouring into her, telling her that she's beautiful, not for makeup, but she's just beautiful because God has created her and all things and beings that God has created is good and beautiful. So I'm gonna go early so I can build her up and um, hope you guys have a magnificent day. It's gonna be another great day. I had a fabulous day yesterday. I wish I have time to share, but I love you all. Make it a great day, give him praise always. Amen.